Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome to Pine's Primal Perception. Today I'm gonna share my very first experience with Storage Inc. 2. I didn't knew there was a first one, but uh, this one just released on Steam and it seems to be a game ab about forklifts. Uh, so that might be interesting. Let's see, um, how to play. Steer your truck with v WASD. Wow, that was, this font is hard to read. Press space. Why is there a shadow on this font? That, that's terrible. Press space to lift, drop and Q for horn. Or with the or with the gamepad, change the reverse steering behavior in the options. The period bar shows the remaining time of this period. Difficulty and player count affects the period length. Each successful delivery gives you score based. Do 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 or indicates how many deliveries are left. Is there not this? Nah, it's okay. Let's do it through it quickly. Incoming goods arrive on conveyor belts. If anything collides with it, a huge amount of orders will be lost. Okay. Blue goods must be dropped in the matching delivery zone before the end of the current period. Failure will result in a score reduction and two lost orders. Goods with a number must be delivered during the period, X periods from the current. Ah, okay. The number will decrease each new period. Makes sense. Grey goods don't have a known delivery period, but may randomly get one each new period. Okay. Each period, one grey goods becomes an optional bonus delivery for that period only. It will be worth double score and maybe drop in any delivery zone. Okay. Sounds interesting. Let's go for it. Solo. Uh, jibba jibba jibba. <laughs> okay, the art style is cute. Um, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of, of, the, of pixel art style, but this is an, a, a 3D pixel art style. So basically, mini Minecraft art style or something along those lines. Um, none of those parts should be delivered this turn. So I guess we just... Oh, I I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to pick it up? I, I thought I would be. What was the hotkey for... Space, right? I think. For lifting things? Yeah, it's space. Okay. I guess I'll wait for the thing. Okay, now it gets a number, now I can pick it up. Fair enough. Two is lower than all those numbers, so it should be fine to place it over here. I assume. What's with the other forklifts? I guess that's when you play with more players. Okay, this first level is pretty boring so far. Uh, but the period is almost over, so I guess I'm getting... Well, actually, I'm, I might not get anything interesting for next period either. Who knows? Um, okay, we have a special thingy over there. Yay! Score. Um, we could rearrange some things already. That would probably be a good idea. Because we have to access them next turn. should also pick this up so you can only lift the things if you're positioned correctly which is a little awkward from time to time because it's not quite clear how the like the hit detection works okay interesting concept that's for sure Oh no, I collided with it. Um, God damn it. Let's not deliver that yet. Let's pick up the four. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's del deliver some things, shall we? God damn it. I'm terrible at this. Okay, that worked. Can we control? No, I have to use WSD. Would like to use my other hand. Really. Um, I should probably move the incoming parts. Ah! No! Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, that looks decent. So let's pick up the bonus part and get it in there. There we go. And pick 
this up. <laughs> and wiggles around. I think that's a physic bug. No, I don't crash. God damn it. Okay. Um, game over. Oh, I think I lost because I lost too many orders. But I got a new high score. Okay. Good. What now? Map. Difficulty. Hard. Master. Easy. Okay, so there are different maps. What's the number? What is the number above the map? There are lots of maps. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, interesting. This seems to be a game that's way more fun if you play with one more with more than one person though. Okay, let's play the hardest map but on the easiest difficulty. I assume those skulls, like the color of those skulls, determines the difficulty of the level. Let's see. Let's take a look. Okay, this looks this looks horrible. I, I see why this would be one of the most difficult levels. Indeed. Well, there's only one drop zone though, so that's good. So it's all about rearranging the things you have already. Nah, it doesn't seem like a fun task to do alone, really. Menu, options. Didn't check the options earlier, didn't I? My cards during controls. Can't change that? We can. Okay, that's good. So, we have rebindable keys. Graphics. We have resolution options, full screen and window, no borderless window. You can turn on VSync and uppercase font. Why does this... Oh no, it doesn't. If I was thinking, why does this change the other options? But it doesn't. It just changes the font. <laughs> um, no. Uh, it is this player. Okay. Quit game. Yeah, so there seems to be online multiplayer. Let's see. There is a game running. No. I expected as much, to be honest. Okay, this is a fun idea, but this is entirely boring alone. So, I guess I'm going to stop here. But this definitely looks like it would be fun with more than one person. Especially playing on the same computer. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can split the keyboard though, which is unfortunate. So, I guess you have to plug in con controllers. So, that would be a good feature to add. Um, but online with voice chat might be fun as well. So, yeah, it's called Storage Inc. 2. Um, Neat little game, I guess. Uh, <laughs> not that interesting if you're playing on your own. So, um, yeah, link is in the description below if you're interested in it. Um, I'm TH Pine. Thanks all for watching. Have fun and see you next time.